All right, everyone. Um, I didn't think I'd be planning on doing a video today, extra on top of what's already been released, but some major news has come out, and uh, it does affect slightly the anime world, oddly enough. But I'm talking about the closure of Rooster Teeth. Uh, a lot of people were predicting that this would happen, but I didn't realize it's been going on for 21 years. I mean, I knew it was going back to the early 2000s, but I did not realize it's been going on for 21 years. But sadly, it has broke that Rooster Teeth is closing down. So, Camp Camp is not going to be there anymore. No more Ruby, no more Red versus Blue, nothing that the internet grew up on. Now, what are you asking about how is this relevant to the anime world? Well, Ruby itself is an anime. It has gotten an anime. It's gotten, it's getting a regular show and it got like its own different thing. It got a movie. There's a bunch of things going on with Ruby in the anime world. But let's take a dive into it. A lot of people are speculating it's because... This goes all the way back to when Water Brothers bought Rooster Teeth itself. And it bought the whole thing. It's just, yeah. So, for those who don't know, uh, in the anime world, Ruby and Genlock uh, exist because of Rooster Teeth. The anime studio known as Rooster Teeth ended up doing this. But sadly, like the article says, after two years, the studio is biting the dust. Warner Brothers Discovery, after an unsuccessful attempt to sell the unprofitable fandom gaming and comedy entertainment division, is shutting it down. I guess they said we don't want this and we need to turn it off. Uh, that's a big yikes. Well, that's a sad, actually. It's really sad. So, uh, they announced Wednesday. They announced it today? Oh, good lord. That's a big yikes. I would be kind of upset if they didn't give heads up, but we don't know if they gave heads up or anything. But sadly, 150 people lost their jobs. Everyone for the industry, you know, Barbara Dunkelman, all that stuff, they all lost their jobs. I hope they reached out and they were at least giving a heads up so they can at least work on it. I'm hoping. But let's take a look in a little bit further into the article itself. Uh, on the memo, it stated, It's with a heavy heart I announced that Rooster Teeth is shutting down due to the challenges facing digital media resulting the fundament from fundamental shifts in consumer behavior and monetization across platforms, advertising, and patronage. Levin wrote in the memo uh, to obtain by Variety, which I'm curious on how they got that. Probably someone was like, Hey, I, want, I need some extra money. Here, have some scoop. A legacy is not just a collection of content, but a history of pixels, burn into our screens minds and hearts so what I, i'm curious i i think this is everything if i had to take a guess so there's probably no more youtube on on here there's no more anything like that actually let's just hop, i'll hop over at the end of this and take a look into it so one of brothers discovery is currently in its talks of selling and blah 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 blah. they're talking about stuff as ruby which you know what is the biggest thing from rooster teeth uh genlock uh, which is Michael B. Jordan's animated mech series. Forgot about that. And then, you know, they would love to sell the, the Rooster Teeth podcast network. And, you know, there's a bunch of game stuff, a bunch of different programs and IPs they have tanned and done over the years that a lot of people like and officiate with Rooster Teeth. Sadly, as they celebrated their 20th anniversary wrestler, this is coming as a surprising uh, blow to everyone. This is going into the whole... It, like history of it and this is talking about back in 2014 when uh it was bought when he sold to otter media which was a joint avenue between at&t and the sharing group uh and then later on uh they ended up becoming part of the warner media group which was still under uh at&t's ownership but sadly man at, at its peak yeah they had about Almost half a million people paying monthly for, like, ex exclusive first looks at Ruby, Genlock, and then look how much it fell off. From 225,000 a month to 60,000 subscribers. That is a huge drop-off. And unfortunately, I mean, and yeah, that's another good point. At one point, they were at 400, content, like, full-time employees not anymore this is oh this is a lot and here's the full memo um you, i will link the thing down below but we're going to take a look at the youtube page because you can tell that it's gone downhill and 
I believe these are the lay. Oh yeah, this is just showing off layoffs that um are happening this year. Oh my word, that's a lot of layoffs starting this year. Oh my word, that's a lot. But that's not what we're here. All right, so let's take a look over at the YouTube page real quick. So as you can see, all the numbers have gone down. So let's look at the most popular stuff. Twenty six million. Ruby, when Ruby first started, 16 million. Back when they were doing like comedy, like early comedy stuff, times were different back then. A lot of the stuff they peaked with was like 10 to 13 years ago. The trailers for Ruby, all that stuff, the hype that everyone was very hyped for for Mighty Monty series. It was a good series. Ruby still this today is fantastic. But as you can see now, 11,000 see that you know a lot of people are hyped about this but then 24 60 10 11 5.8 thousand views they have dropped so much and don't get me wrong the studio has been in around a bunch of controversy between hate against the lgbtq community stuff like that um discrimination amongst the staff oh, there's a lot of things that have coming up late and I didn't really look until now on how much it really affected them. The numbers have dropped so much in the last year. Like, it just, it has just gone down. Like, the only reason, like, why this was gone. But the only reason why this stands out amongst all this is because this is a classic. This is something that a lot of people knew Rooster Teeth for. This was something that in their lives, this is what it means. And then the animated series were also bringing in views here and there comparatively. Comparatively, considering everything that's going on the, from the, the podcast. But I don't know. I think it's, it, it, it the signs were there. And I don't think this is a shock to everyone. To me, as someone who was from the outside looking in, not really watching and paying attention to it. This was, this is a shock. Um, I am surprised, but I, they will be missed. I'm just curious if they're going to keep the archive up. They're going to keep this up because there's a lot of memorable moments from here. There's a lot of good stuff on the podcast. People talked about a lot of very memorable moments. Um, uh, yeah, sadly the, the, the time, this time of the internet is over. This era is gone and over with. And usually with the end of an era, there's always the beginning of a new. So always keep out for new VTubers. Well, yeah, VTubers, YouTubers, new companies, stuff like that. And unfortunately, it's the time has come for Rooster Teeth. I'll miss Ruby. I was a big fan of Ruby. I really enjoyed it. But sadly, uh, it is their time. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. This is a random news thing that popped out of nowhere. Probably minimal editing. But love you all. Appreciate you all. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>